Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing volume of pyramids and prisms. Let's start with rectangular prisms. We're going to use the formula V equals capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the rectangular base. And to find the area of the rectangular base, you'll just do the base times the height of that rectangle. So on the first one, I want to find the area of this, or sorry, the volume of this rectangular prism. First thing I'm going to do is shade my bases going to use the bottom and the top as my bases here. And then the height will be 33, the distance that connects them. I'm going to go ahead and draw out my base since I have to find the area of it. It is an eight by seven rectangle. So to find the area of the base, I will do eight times seven, which is 56. So now to find the volume, I'll do the area of the base, which is 56, times that height of the prism that I circled, which is 33. So I'm going to do 56 times 33 to find the volume of this prism. And I get that the volume of this prism is 1,848 yards cubed. Okay, let's look at number two. It says the dimensions of a rectangular prism are 2.5 feet by 4 feet by 10 feet. What is the volume of the rectangular prism in cubic feet? So when they give you the dimensions and not a picture, it's important that you choose the two sides that you're going to use as the base and then the length that you're going to use for the height. So I'm going to use 2.5 feet by 4 feet as the rectangular base. And then that leaves a height of 10. So let's find the area of the base of this rectangular base that I just drew out by doing 2.5 times 4. And 2.5 times 4 is 10. So the area of the base is 10. And the height is 10. So now I can find the volume by doing the area of the base of 10 times the height of 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. So the volume of this rectangular prism that they described would be 100 feet cubed. Okay, volume of triangular prisms, it's the same formula. V equals area of the base times the height. The only difference is our base is a triangular base. So we're going to have to do 1 half times base times height. Use the triangle area formula. So number three wants us to find the volume of this triangular prism. I'm going to start by shading my bases. My bases are these parallel triangle faces. And then my height will be the distance that connects them, which is 16. So first thing I want to do is draw out my triangular base. This base is perpendicular with 6.5 and that length is 10. So the base of my triangle is 10 and then the height is 6.5. So to find the area of this base, I'll do one half times my base of 10 times my height of 6.5. 1 half times 10 is 5, so I'll do 5 times 6.5 to find the area of the base. And I get that the area of the base is 32.5 inches squared. So now that I have the area of the base and I have the height of the prism, I circled it, it was 16, I can find the volume by doing 32.5, the area of the base, times the height of 16. And I get that the volume of this prism is 520 inches cubed. 
Okay, let's look at number four. It says a triangular prism has a height of 13 inches and a volume of 182 cubic inches. What is the area of the base of the triangular prism in square inches? So let's write down the volume of a prism formula, since that's what we're talking about here, volume of a prism. And let's identify what we were given. We were given the volume. It says the volume is 182 cubic inches. We were not given the area of the base, and in fact, that is what they want us to find. And then the last variable in this formula is h for the height, which they did give us the height. That is 13 inches. So now I'm going to substitute into my formula, and I will be able to solve for b because I have all the um, variables in this formula except for b. So I'm going to replace b with 182. So it's 182 equals area of the base, b times the height of 13. So now I want to get the area of the base by itself. So I'm going to undo that times 13 by dividing by 13. And to find the area of the base, I will do 182 divided by 13. And I get that the area of the base is 14 inches squared. Okay, so the last two problems we looked at prisms, their formula is V equals capital B times the height. Now we're gonna look at pyramids. It is similar, but remember a pyramid is one third of a prism. So we have a one third in our formula. Let's start with rectangular pyramids. So rectangular pyramids are gonna have a rectangular base. So we will use base times height to find the area of that base. So let's look at that on number five. I'm gonna shade my rectangular base and I'm gonna draw out that base. It is a 12 by five rectangle. So to find the area of the space, capital B, I will just do 12 times five. So the area of my base is 60. And then the height of this pyramid is four. So now I have everything I need to plug into my volume formula. It'll be one third times my base, which was 60 times the height, which was four. Let's do one third times 60 first. One third of 60 is 20, so the volume will be 20 times four, which is 80. So the volume of this pyramid is 80 feet cubed. Okay, number six says a rectangular pyramid has a volume of 150 cubic meters and a base area of 90 square meters. What is the height of the rectangular pyramid in meters? So we're talking about a pyramid and the volume of it. So I'm gonna start by writing down that formula, which is one third times the area of the base times the height. There are three variables here, V, B, and H. I'm gonna see what they gave me in the problem. They gave me the volume. They told me that it is 150 cubic meters for the volume of this pyramid. They gave me capital B, the area of the base. It is 90 square meters. And the height is what I do not know. And that's what it's asking me to find. So I'm going to set up an equation and I'm gonna leave H as H and we'll be able to solve this equation for H once we plug everything in. So we're gonna replace V, the volume, with 150 and it equals one third times the base area of 90 times H. First thing I see is that I can simplify one third times 90 one third of 90 is 30. So I get 150 equals 30 H. And the last thing I need to do to get H by itself is divide by 30 and 150 divided by 30 is five. So the height of this pyramid is five meters. All right, last volume formula we're gonna look at is a triangular pyramid. We're gonna use the same formula as we did for the rectangular pyramid, one third times the area of the base times the height, but this time our base is going to be a triangle. So we'll have to do one half times the base times the height of the triangle. 
So let's find the volume of this pyramid here. I can see that the height of this pyramid is 24. I'm going to shade the base. And now I'm going to draw out this triangular base. The base of the triangle is 10 and the height is 12. So to find capital B, the area of this base, I'll do 1 half times the base of 10 times the height of 12. And 1 half times 10 is 5, and 5 times 12 is 60. So the area of my base is 60. So I have the base and I have the height of 24, so now I can plug in to my volume formula. It'll be 1 third times the area of the base, which was 60, times the height of 24. So one third of 60 is 20. So my volume will be 20 times 24, which is 480. So the volume of this pyramid is 480 millimeters cubed. All right, and number eight says a triangular pyramid has a height of 12 centimeters. The area of the base of the pyramid is nine square centimeters. What is the volume of the triangular pyramid in cubic centimeters? So we're talking about volume of a triangular pyramid. I'm gonna go ahead and write that formula down. One third times the area of the base times the height. They did not give me the volume. That's what they want me to find. They did give me the area of the base. That is nine. And then they did give me the height of the pyramid. It is 12. So I have the two things I need to find the volume here, the base area and the height. So I'm just going to plug it in and to find the volume, I'll do one third times my base area of nine times my height of 12. One third times nine is three and three times 12 is 36. So the volume of this pyramid, would be 36 centimeters cubed.